Hallelujah. Amen. I've entitled this message, Completion is Imminent. When you talk about the calls that are made by Christ Jesus, completion is imminent. And what Christ is calling is, he is calling the exceedingly great and precious promises that are made by the living God who sent him. And so completion is imminent because God cannot lie. Now I want you to turn with me over to the book of Mark chapter and chapter number 4. And we're going to read several verses from 35 through 41. And I'm going to be reading from the New Living uh, Translation of the Holy Bible. But please join me and let's recite it together out loud. Now let's go to Mark chapter number 34, I'm, I'm sorry, Mark chapter 4, and beginning at verse number 35 where the Holy Spirit says, As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat, and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up, shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we are going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the application of his holy word. So you see, Jesus got power in his call. See, what I'm saying is that when Jesus called for the wind and the waves to be silent and to be still, Jesus was calling a promise that was made by God who sent him. See, what I'm saying is that when God makes a promise, see, there's some power behind that promise that goes out and ensures that that promise cannot be frustrated. That promise cannot be disappointed. And the power is called the Holy Ghost that the Father sends in the name of Jesus. And what he did was, when Jesus said, silence, be still, he went out and made the wind stop and made the calm come about. And the winds and the, obey, and the waves obeyed the call of God's promise made by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So you see, completion is imminent when you talk about the call of of God's promises that are made by Christ the Lord Jesus. Now I want you to turn with me over to uh, the book of St. Luke and we're going to look at several verses of chapter there because see what we want to have here is a practical application of this gospel. And so let's look at Luke chapter 11, verse number 9 through 13. And again, I ask you to read it out loud with me. Now, I'm going to be reading still from the New Living Translation of the Holy Bible. But please join me, even if the vocabulary that you have in the sentence arrangement is different. Let us read. Beginning at verse number 9, this is where Jesus says, And so I tell you. Keep on asking, 
and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Knock, keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. You fathers, if your children ask for a fish, do you give him them a snake instead? Or if they ask for an egg, do you give them a scorpion? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the application of his holy word. So you see, Christ is calling for it to be given to him who asks. Christ is calling for it to be found by him who seeks. Christ is calling for it to be open to him who knocks. Hallelujah. Now, he's calling it to be done for you. Because no matter who you are, what your spiritual condition is, no matter where you are with God, you are a member of that group that's called everyone. Hallelujah. And Jesus said, for everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened unto him. Hallelujah. That's good news because Christ is calling for everyone to be eligible for this mercy from God, our Father in heaven. And we see what the call of Christ does because he is calling the exceedingly great and precious promises that are made by the living God. Then his calls, the completion of his calls of God's promises are imminent. So you can expect that when you ask, it shall be given unto you. You can expect that when you seek, you shall find. You can expect that when the door, you knock at that door, it will be opened unto you because the power of the living God, the same power that raised Jesus from death to life, never to die again, is the power that goes out and takes the steps necessary to complete the promises of God that are called by Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let us pray. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name and we thank you for this message of hope. You are God. and You have given us your word in this matter and all we need to do is take you at your word because you can be trusted. You can be trusted to keep your word even as the Holy Spirit invites us to believe you, Father, the Spirit says that God is not a man that he should lie, neither is he the son of man that he should repent, but he is God and God cannot lie. And so, Father, help us. Help us. Have mercy on us all, Father. Have mercy on every person falling under the hearing of my voice and each one of their family members and help us, Lord. Help us to co correct us and teach us and instruct us in righteousness and reprove us and do whatever you see fit with us to make us like you, Father. And I thank you that you hear my prayer and you answer this petition because the Lord has given his word about your promise that it shall be given unto him who asks. And so I thank you in advance. In Jesus' name I pray with thanks to you, Father, for giving. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, to God be the glory, to God be the glory, to God be the glory. And if the Lord is willing, I'll talk to you the again. The Bible says, let every time. living soul praise Hallelujah. the Lord. No matter what the situation is, come, let us praise the King of Kings. Come on. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Come on. Come on. Rejoice. 
Jesus. Can you hear that? Rejoice in the Lord, O oh ye righteous, for praise is come for the upper right. Sing unto him a new song, please sing fully with the loud noise. It's time to praise the Lord. It's time to praise the Lord with a voice of lifting. And praise him. Because it is time to praise him. Oh, yes, it is time to praise him. Come on, let me hear you praise him aloud. The Lord is so good to us. My sin, the cross to wash my sin, the cross to set me free. Now I'm free, I'm free indeed. I'm free, I'm free indeed. No one ever can do me like Jesus. No one ever can do me like Jesus. The cross to wash my sin, the cross to set me free. Now I'm free, I'm free indeed. Lord. Oh yes, here is time. It is time to praise the Lord. Can you hear me? Join me, join me. It is time to praise the Lord. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. People of God, let's praise Him. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, uh -huh. praise the Lord is good. Oh yes, praise the Lord, praise the Lord is faithful all the time. Listen, it doesn't praise matter the Lord, what the cost may be, it doesn't matter what the trouble, it doesn't praise matter what the cost may be. Just praise the Lord with me. It doesn't matter what the mountain, it doesn't matter what the trouble, it doesn't matter what the valley, it doesn't matter what you're facing right now. Just praise the Lord with me. It doesn't matter what the mountain, it doesn't matter what the valley, it doesn't matter what you're facing right now. Just praise the Lord with me. I say praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise Him with trembling, praise Him, the Lord is faithful, praise the Lord, come on, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, He's faithful, everybody, let's put our hands together now, it is time to praise the Lord, come on, clap your hands unto Jehovah, Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. It is time to praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jehovah is good. Hallelujah, it is time. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, praise Him. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.